it's a proud privilege to welcome television host, celebrity chef, and author Maria Goretti to Champion Woman. When I started my career and when I was studying, all I knew at that point of time is that I needed to study a certain amount to uh, figure what I wanted to do in life because frankly at the age of 15 or 16 or 18 or even uh, for, or at that point of time at 20, I really never knew what I wanted to do. I never knew what my calling was. But the one thing that I always did was work really hard wherever I was. So uh, what really happened is that I got a lot of opportunities and these opportunities led me to where I was. So I started off by actually studying fashion. I uh, worked, uh, I worked uh, in a corporate office for a bit of time. I worked as an advertising executive for a bit of time. But I think my calling was television. So when I got my first job as a television anchor, I had so much of fun doing it. It didn't feel like a job. And it came very naturally. And I think I realized that this is probably what I'm good at. And I continued with that for a very long period of time. After some time, of course, you know, you have children and life goes on because that's what life is all about. And I think when I had children, I realized that I needed to learn how to cook because I knew very basic stuff, but I didn't know anything else. As a mom, uh, you needed to, to constantly reinvent what food your children can eat so that they eat nutritiously. I got into food. And I got into food very organically, like anyone would cook at home. But I really fell in love with the process. And I so enjoyed it that I then further went off to Tante Marie in London. I learned cuisine, boulangerie. So I realized that I did not just want to make basic food, but I wanted to improve on it. And so I went off to college. I studied the skill set needed behind it, and I continued with life. Uh, in that process, I somewhere down the line started a blog. I started cooking on my own. I would make, um, I would try out recipes. It led to a book. So I needed to learn the process to write a book. So I wrote a book. I wrote a food book then. After that, I went back to college. I went back to Le Cordon Bleu, where I did my diploma in pastry. I did television shows that I completely loved. So I loved hosting, but now it got mixed with food. So now I do food, I do, um, I do um, menus, I do everything under the sun that is concerned with food. I teach. I also do chats with children about, you know, careers, about how to choose your career. But I think the, the crux of the matter is to find something that you really love, that you're passionate about, and put in the hard work that supports it. And I think that's the best way to do it. You know, so life is actually all about balancing. And uh, it's about uh, macro-managing, it's about micro-managing, and sometimes it's about just letting go. So there is no really one path that I could tell you that this is the right way to do something because frankly all our paths are different and what works for me may not work for you, what works for you may not work for me. But I think in a broad manner, if you can segregate, you know, everything that you do. So uh, I'm a mom of two teens today, but earlier I used to be handling my kids hands on because they were younger. So I think also as a woman, what you do in life has to do with what your family is also doing. So when my kids were much younger, there was lesser work that I did, or I did tighter units of work. Now that my kids are older, I actually have the liberty to do a lot more. Actually, Ranjini, frankly, the app that you have, the Champions Woman app that you have, and all the, all the talks that I see you do, come from such a source of wisdom that I think, you know, uh, that is a go-to. For me, when I listen to you, I'm like, okay, that woman knows what she's talking about. And it's, it's, still, it's still going to be your journey. It's still going to be your findings. But I think if we can take from our elders, because they followed a path, they've walked this path. So even if you take one line from their life, it would make it far more easier. 
All of us are walking, talking brands. You are your own brand. You are the only one who can actually convince another person that what you are doing in life is the right way to go. But for that, you need to be sure of what you do. You need to be absolutely confident about who you are. And I think, you know, appearances matter. It's, there, is a, there is a very important reason why when you see a, a pilot getting onto a flight, you see him always attired in a certain way. He's not coming there with his jeans and his shirt and, you know, his hair undone. He's coming there absolutely in uniform and it's that uniform that, that tells you so much about the person, gives you confidence in, okay, I can sit back because this person is actually the man who's going to be flying my, my plane and I will reach my destination. So it's about that. It's like you are your own advertisement and if you are not groomed well, if you know you come in looking like you don't look after yourself it's very difficult for me to actually trust you to do and to understand that you are a responsible person so as a professional that is the number one thing that you need to do besides having your skill that nobody can take away it's important it's really really important when i look at you to know that you've taken a lot of care about yourself and if you are like that about yourself, you will be like that about any other job that you do. So do look after yourself, head to toe. My life actually revolves around all kinds of different kinds of food. Now in that, I have to seek a place and a path that is good for me. If you know you're going out for dinner or you're going out for lunch, then that is your main meal. So the rest of the meals, you need to have it in a way that it's not too much. It does not exceed the amount of calories you don't need. Also, I think eating vegetables is a very, very important thing. So see what's good for you. See how your body responds to something. When, when you're going to sleep in the night, just see that you have at least a three hour gap before you go off to sleep. So have a meal early, don't have your meals late. Drink enough of water in a day. I'm not saying drink your four liters. Drink at least three liters of water in a day. I start my day with a glass of hot water. Don't put honey in hot water. Honey heated is not good for you. So there are, there are a lot of reading that everyone has to do and see what, way, what works for you. But basically it's all about balance. I love sweets, so I will have it during the day. I won't have it in the night. I want, to have a, I want to have a wonderful time when I'm going out for dinner. I will balance the rest of my meals. So it's very, very simple. We just have to, you know, think about it a bit and do it. So there are no shortcuts to success. Whatever you are doing, put in 100% of you in it. And that's about it. Nobody can take your place. Thank you very much, Maria. Your points were so practical and so warm-hearted. And that is what we love when celebrities like you come down to earth and champion women. You are our champion woman. Thank you.